Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let me fix my camera here. Okay, teacher. No problem. Class name. Okay, let me see. Oh, there I am. All right. So Jonathan and Ronald are here. Angela is here. Yes, I see. How was your day today? Wow, it's Thursday. The week fast. Very fast. Like oh. any other day. But today I watched the Manchester United uh, uh, match, but they didn't win. Yeah. When does Real Madrid play? Sunday, right? Uh, La Liga. No, the um, the uh, champions. Uh -huh. They play on Tuesday. You know. And then I watched the the other one, the Manchester City match, but I didn't see them like too strong. They were like nervous. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, you know so what the problem I, I, is. You know, I, I have some friends that um they're very, very big Real Madrid fans, but they're very they're not like passionate, but I have I have some friends, but I have only seen this on the Real Madrid side that um man they live twenty four hours a day, seven days a week posting Anti Barcelona, anti Messi, and it's funny because because I tell them you are the only five people in the world that I know that say that Messi is not a crack. Get home, pitch free because I don't know. That's some are crazy. Hey, I don't like Real Madrid, but I admit that Modric is one of the best players. Would you consider the best moment of Modric is better than Benzema? Yes. Because I do. I I never consider Benzema a, a, a fundamental player because Benzema, he's only like in 200 games, and let's say 100 games, he's excellent in 10, he's normal in 20, and he's mediocre, you know? He's not regular. He never stays in the same... Well, I mean, it's difficult for a soccer player to stay. Like, but for example, Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, an example, right? Yes, there are times that they don't, they don't, they disappear, but then they come back. But um, really, I I don't like Benzema. I do because that's the the star right now. But he was fundamental last season, at least. Yes, but how many seasons has he been there? Uh, he's been like forever. <laughs> ten, ten or ten or eleven, if I'm not wrong. And imagine until this season or last season, he he starts. Well, but he's good though. But what happened to Hazard? Ah, uh, he didn't play. He but... never plays. No, but people criticize his signing, but I don't think so. As far as I know, he was the best player in the Premier League, so nobody expected that he was going to be just injured. So it was a good bet, at least to me, but we didn't expect him to be like that because whenever he plays, he doesn't run. He's like afraid to be broken again. Yeah. That's what I perceive. Or, may or maybe it's the, it's the orders he receives. It's like it's like Dembélé in 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 Barcelona, man. Yeah. Dembélé was better. Was I I've seen him when he was playing in in Dortmund, and he was amazing. He was, but they need to sell him now. Okay, but let me let me give an example. Player they have. 
No, Lewandowski is good. I think Pedri no. Gavi, they're good, but I don't know. No, man. I mean, playing on the wing. Yeah. He's the only good one they have. But the problem because... is, how old is he? He's like 25. Imagine, he's so young, and he has so many injuries, like, like he's 35. So hey, that's right. Yes. He still he still has ten more years, and I don't think he will play. So I would sell him. But that would be unfair because uh, I understand Barca like personnel in charge of medical uh, of medical staff. They are not too good. That's why Lewandowski was injured. That's why. A lot of players get injured often. Yeah, maybe. And you see other players like Bayern Munich, they are all strong and have muscles. They like train different. And in Barca, they focus on just playing good. So, like a, like Alianza here. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but Alianza is a good team. I'm, I'm not a fan of Alianza, but I recognize that it's the biggest yeah, you, team here. You have to recognize that it's true. That's true. All right. Okay. Welcome, Claudia. Welcome, Bert. Good evening, sir. Bert, how's the weather right now? It's not hot, right? It's awful. It's terrible. Really? 20, 29 degrees right now, but the weather is still really hot. I'm mean, by my house, it's chilly. It's Really? Yeah. It's like nice, nice, fresh air coming in. The temperature? How many degrees? I don't know. I have to check. I'll check right now. I'll let you know. Let me open. I got my certificate already, so I'm going to leave the class. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, this is what I told you like at the beginning when we started the class. For me, there are there are certain things you study and, and certain things you learn. And um you can study many things and get a certificate, but the most important thing is to learn it. Yes, for example, I didn't know that the other thing you were talking about about the the action verbs, I didn't know I could like notice that because when you learn just read, mm -hmm. you don't know that just they are act, acting verbs. You just follow the structure like just the verb plus ing, but you didn't notice that yeah they were acting verbs, and it, it's easier to learn them by that by that way. It is, and. You will hear people say, I'm having, I'm loving, but grammatically speaking, it's not correct. The other day I completed a, a training while working and there was this word, it was want, wanting, and I remember you yeah. said it was not correct, but they were made by American people, but I know they don't respect their grammar. Yeah, because they don't know. They they don't know. But um well some do. <laughs> yeah, but they don't it's like Spanish. We don't respect our grammar. Let me share my screen with you. All right, Claudia, you just got home at 8? Wow. What time is it? 8.15. Okay, listen, let's do this reading. Let me see. Let me open it more. Do you see the page? Yeah, I see the yes. Read the travel brochure, then check true or false for each statement. 
I will read it when I finish the paragraph. Tell me if you have a question. Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand's second largest city. Here you can explore ancient temples, colorful markets, and historic architecture. Chiang Mai has the charm of an old mountain town with all the convent conveniences of a modern cultural center. There is a great nightlife and hotels for every budget. Do you understand? Yes. What is budget? Like money, presupuesto. Yes. For example, if say, hey man, do you know somebody selling a car? I need to buy a car. First thing you say, um, what's your budget? $2,000, like, e Imagine somebody says, hey, man, I'm looking for a Toyota, bonito, si, like, you know, no muy viejo, 2000. Air conditioning, four doors, oh, okay. What's your budget? $2,000, like, I'm sorry, you were not trying to. Yeah. Okay. Next, it has. It says. Uh, I know. I know the word charm is like, like am amulet, right? Charm, but I don't think they use it like in that. Charm. They, yes. They don't want to say that. And it's it's also it's also uh, an adjective. <clears throat> like, she's a charming man, charming woman. That means that you are. Um, Cantador. So they had to say they had to say charming mountain mountain charming because mountain. They just, they just they just put charm. Wait, hold I know on. the the adjective mm -hmm. is charming. Charming, yes. It says China China mine has the charm of an old mountain. Oh, okay. But where are you? The second line. Has the charm of an old mountain, yes. Old mountain town. See, that's the thing. It's not describing the mountain. It's describing the town. Like if you go to Suchitoto, it has the charm of a pueblo, old pueblo. So they mean to say like, Tienen el, el encanto de... Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, the second paragraph, it says, Chiang Mai, which is located in the Ping River and near the mountains, is also a wonderful place for an outdoor adventure. You can trek through the mountains where you will see breathtaking scenery and interact with local hill tribe people. Or you can go on tour of the area's My King Waterfalls, not far outside the city. The cool season of December to February is when many people choose to visit Chiang Mai. February is when the famous flower festival is held and the whole city is lined with flower boxes. It is not to be missed. There is something for everyone in Chiang Mai. Plan your trip today. If you had, if you, if you could, what, what country would you like to visit and why? Hmm. Al Arok. Where? Al Arok. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Al Arok. Where is that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying the name in Arabic. Al Arok. Okay. Iraq. Oh, okay. <laughs> you would like to visit Iraq? Yeah. Yes, I will love. I will love to visit Ar. I mean, this is the that I don't speak a uh, very Arabic very well, but this is the way they say it when I speak with them. Where are you from? Ante Manuel, and I mean, all Arok. 
Él dice, yo soy, okay. I, soy de Irak. Uh, Ana, Ana, me, al Iraq. Yo soy de Irak. Okay, I'm of Iraq. Why Iraq? This is interesting. I think you're the first person in my life I meet that you want to visit Iraq. Why? Well, you know, this is Mesopotamia. Mm -hmm. This is the origin of civilization. Okay. That's why. This is a cultural place. Unfortunately, United States of America crap on. <laughs> so, but I would love to, to visit Iraq because I had a lot of friends from Iraq. I had a lot of contacts in Facebook to, to speak with me. I mean, they, when I say uh, anime all America, American, anti American, so I say no, I'm from El Salvador. Because I don't know why people from other part of the world, when you say you are American, they believe you are from United States of America. And that's annoying. But the thing is, when I say I am from uh, America, I have to specify that I am a different country in the continent of America. Yes. So because so many the, people, many people just see America in two parts, north and south. Yeah, that's right. It's like us. It's like us. You can be Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Filipino, but you're Chino. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think you're right. You got a point. Yeah. But, you you're know, right. I mean, it's it's a little ignorant. Yes. Yes. And it's offensive. Yes. But, you know, you yes, can't, it is. <laughs> sometimes you can't against the culture. <laughs> but OK, good. Iraq. OK, I, I would like. Yeah, I would love to visit this because it's a I mean, the origin or the genesis of the civilization, the, the, the whole. The Iraqi women the are, so, are so beautiful. It's like the faction of the face, the, the, the people in general, they're very beautiful. Yeah, what about, yeah, what about you, right. Lisette? Which country would you like to visit? No teacher. Um, I like visit um, Spain. 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 Why Spain? <clears throat> um, I have curiosity for the country. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you, Eduardo? Um, I would like to visit Japan because I feel like it's so different about how our culture and, and everything. So I would love to, to, to see in a country that Everything is different about us. Me too. You know, I so would love. To, I, I want love to, to go visit. all all around the world and see the other side of the world. Yeah, I would love to visit Asia. I would like to visit a country that everything, everything, everything is different. The the gods, the food, the the that's, the, the that, letters, that's my idea. Uh -huh. even the face, uh -huh. even the face. So China, Japan, it doesn't matter. But Japan, it sounds good. Can you, because like let's say if you visit Argentina, you speak Spanish. The the, the culture is similar, maybe. Yes. But ima imagine you're in Japan. You are in Japan alone, alone in a hotel, and you walk out, and you say, "Man, donde voy?" <laughs> and everything you see, you don't understand. <laughs> That's fascinating. That would be fascinating. Yes, that's the reason. Okay. What about you, Angela? What country would you like to visit? Uh, in my case, I would like to see Israel. Israel. What is the you know what? I imagined you were going to say that. You, Israel. you want to visit um, Tierra Santa, right? Yes. But you know what, Angela? I hear it's not very good. Why? <laughs> no, no, por los niños because of the tourist attraction. It's um, it's not what you expect. It's not what you expect because you go, and everything, everything is like, benta, benta, sell, 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 and, and you say, where's Jesus? The the 
the tome. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So then when when you are there, nobody really knows. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry because know. my my aunt, my aunt, she recently went and she told me it's full of people, full of people, and everything is business. If you ask for for information, they give you they want money. And then they tell you, no, it's there. And when you go there, no, they want to sell you something. So no, it's there, it's there, it's there. So in conclusion, she says, you don't you don't see anything. Mm. No, but I mean, in yeah. sense, it's, it's, it's like going to, um, going to, uh, where well, there's a lot, a lot of tourist attraction, yeah, Did but I, sorry. Not the chance. Yeah, I I would I would prefer to go to the Vatican maybe. Um, no, but I want to see the Vatican because I want to see the Sistine Chapel, and not because because I'm oh my God, Raphael touched here, Da Vinci touched here, Michelangelo. <laughs> Just, just to solo por eso because oh my god, you know. Okay, I, I understand. What about you, Jonathan? Where would you like to go? I go. I would like to visit Japan. I imagine Japan. because you are <laughs> you are into video games and. But uh, anime. I would I would like to visit be, because two things. One, um, for for their culture. You know, I have I have friends in in. Es que the world is so, it's crazy. I have friends in Japan. And in Japan, if your eyes are not like this, if your eyes are normal, you are a sensation. You know, if your eyes are como los nuestros, you know, normal. If your eyes are not stretched, because you know, if your eyes are like that, you are a sensation. And girls go for you. Yeah. Yeah, no, aquí le gustan las chinas, you know. I I know that many young men they like Chinese women because of the anime. My friend, my best friend, he worked in um IT. And he tells me that in IT uh, people bleach themselves. Se ponen la here. Because they don't want to be black. I said the sensation is to be not black, 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 but like, you know. So my friend told me that he was a big sensation. Yes, okay, aquí my amigo was considerado negro. But in IT, he was considered like, oh my God, look. <laughs> yeah. Strange, huh? What about you, Claudia? Where would you like to go? She's still eating. Yes, um, I'm still eating, but I would like to visit Korea. Korea. Yes. North <laughs> or south? Mm, south. South Korea. Why South yes. Korea? Um, I. K -pop. Well, since, yes, since last year I started watching K drama. That's why I would like to visit. And sometimes I see videos about it, and it's a, a really good video. All right, cool. Yes. Ronald, what about you? Actually, I always wanted to visit Spain and, and know the Real Madrid Stadium, but the other day I assisted to a concert and I got along with someone who was in the queue with me. And he told me whenever I want to watch this Aries live, 
because it was a concert music. Uh, he said, whenever I go to Spain, whenever I go to, he started to mention different countries uh, that Aris always lives. So he, he just- Who is Aris? I thought, I thought it was uh, Duki. His name is Duki. He's a, it, he does rap. Okay. And the other one was Visa Rap, uh, the one who made the song with Shakira. Mm -hmm. That's a DJ. Mm -hmm. So I thought that guy was just showing up, but he he followed me on Instagram because I took a picture and he wanted me to to pass the picture. So I started to see his feed, and he went to Greece, and I I saw his picture, and I I just think that it's an experience you will never forget because the picture was I don't know I don't know if there's any other place like that in the world, but yeah. I, I will show you the picture. Okay, the architecture of Greece is beautiful. Wait, so... Uh, here, here. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure if... But, but you know what, Ronald? Like okay, you know what, Ronald? Like I was telling Angela, look in YouTube. That That is a tourist attraction in, in, in Greece. But, como se llama? But it's something about Santorini. Santorini, yes. But I think the YouTube, the video is called "The Reality of the Reality of Tourist Attractions." And for example, the YouTuber empieza con esa, right? This is what you see on TV. You see the beautiful uh, scenery. He says, "But this is the reality, and it's full." <laughs> O sea, eso nunca se ve vacío, like, like at all. It's always full. Okay, so maybe like, Italy would be better because yeah. I heard pupusas there are more delicious than him than, oh, really? than here. Really? Because they have a better cheese. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And then they were saying like the the pyramids. The, ¿Cómo es que se llama ese? Pero de verdad, da un bajón ver eso because he has the pyramids. He says, look, this is what you see, the pyramids. And like, wow, so you think the desert, and he says, this is reality. And he takes the, the camera, and like, when he moves, there's the city. The city is five minutes from the desert. You know, but we only see like, wow, imagine going there in the desert and the pyramids. But no, I mean, come on. I don't know, like you see El Salvador del Mundo, wow, it's beautiful. But when you look at all the traffic. Y ahí también fue donde vi eso también de Tierra Santa, de la Puraya China. But, but wait, so Visa Rap follows you on Instagram? No, I mean, we were assisting to Visa Rap's concert and we, I met him oh, where, okay. while we were in the queue. Oh. So you went to Bizar Rap concert? Ah, uh, yes. Where? It was in Estadio Cuscatlan. Oh, really? Here? But but it was not in there. It was like next to it. I don't know how they call it. It's oh, yeah. outside. It's, I mean, it's in the same place, but not in Estadio Cuscatlan. It's. And when was this? A, when was this? In the Holy Week. Like. Really? Oh, I didn't know. Like the fourth or the five or the fifth. Was it full? I'm sorry. Was the concert full? Yes, it was crowded. I have a question. I am never going to understand electronic music, but I do understand that it's it's popular. But I have tried. Es como el golf. You know how golf is boring? <laughs> you know, Gerardo, yeah, you, you like golf? You know, sometimes I watch ESPN and you go, no. Oh, okay. I do not. No, but it's it's such a stupid sport, pero you know, sometimes I watch I watch ESPN and you go, look, maybe you know, let's see. And I try to watch it, but 30 minutes later, Miguel, no man, this is not a sport. <laughs> it's boring. So Sometimes I listen to electronic music. I love rock music. I am a loquero, right? And, mm -hmm. um, 
And I, th I think people that really like rock don't understand the concept of electronic music because what we like in rock is like, imagine you see Guns N' Roses and you see Slash. I don't know, you see his face and you know, he's doing the guitar solo. And then you see, I, I don't know, the singer dancing or like, you know, you see the drummer sweating and, you know, and, and, but when you watch an electronic concert, you just see a man with a laptop, you know? And, mm -hmm. but I do see people that they enjoy it. Like, yeah, but I was like, I don't know if Bizar Rap was like that, and, and but he only has the laptop and all he does is this. No, he was, he had like, I mean, I didn't assist because of Bizar Rap. I, I, it go because of the other artists, but Bizarra uh, oh. visited the country along the other one. Oh, okay. So I had to I had to stay uh, for two artists, and but Bizarra was better than I expected because he had like different lights and and it was it was good. Oh, okay. I can show you a video here. Yeah, send me to the WhatsApp the video. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like I, I I like oh oh it was fine. Uh, hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, but you know, I I guess I guess I I will never understand the electronic music. Hey, but but I know it's popular, and I know I know that people like it. But I think that's. That's more pop than, oh, it's than pop electronic pop. music. Did he sing the Shakira song? Yes, he played it. And who does the Shakira part? No, it was just him because uh, I know that he has collaborated with the like 60 artists, I guess. Yeah. And they weren't there, of course, but. But, but like. Would that... say what, when he played the Shakira song, who did the Shakira part? No, it was like he's mixing that song, oh. like a different version of of that song. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now let's see if it's true or false. Chiang Mai has cheap and expensive places to stay. True or false? True. True. It says it here, look. True. Ho hotels for every budget. Number two, Chiang Mai is a small town. True or false? False. The area around Chiang Mai is ugly and industrial. False. The Mai Klang waterfalls are from the city. False. False. The flower festival is held during the cool season. Is true. True. All right, cool. And we finished. And we finished, okay. Remember how I told you today we're going to do music? Yes, a karaoke. Karaoke? Yeah, no, actually, no, we can't, we can't do music. But, but a copyright. <laughs> because the class is uploaded to YouTube, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, you know, I don't think nobody's gonna see this class. Only like students, but you know, imagine we do a a Metallica song. The Metallica will be there, not the man. No, no. Okay, but we still have two more habits to talk about. Now, these are not your habits. These are habits on other people. For example, tell me habits 
what is one habit that you don't like on people? Oh, wait, wait. Did we finish strange habits? Yes. Oh, yes, we did. Now, tell me what is one habit that you don't like on people? For example, I don't like... I don't, I, you know, like when you go to the store, a la tindita, and you see somebody in front of you, so okay, you wait. And suddenly another person comes, Neme no se que, you're like, hey man, I, I was next. And, and I am very sarcastic. Uh, excuse me, aquí como es? Is order than the llegada, or you know, I don't know. I, I don't like. I don't like when people do that. I think it's very disrespectful, and I don't like when people touch me. But but it's the it's the pila de cada quien, right? What about you, um, Jonathan? Tell me what is one habit you don't like on people. I don't. You are on mute. I don't. I don't like um, habit of people going. I I stay in. What is it? Una fila. In in line. In line and and they don't don't keep uh, their their distance. Oh yes. It's very uncommon for me. It's very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Like, let's say when you're in the ATM, do you know what is an ATM? Yes, yes. Cajera automatic. Yes. Do you know why ATM? Do you know what ATM means? Toda <laughs> máquina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was good. No, ATM means automatic teller machine. Teller machine. Because when you go to the bank, nosotros decimos cajeros, but in English they're not cashiers. Se llaman tellers. Tellers are only the ones that work in the bank. Cashiers are the ones in the supermarket, whatever. But in the banks, on tellers, the ones that give you the money or take the money. So. These are called um, automatic teller machines, the ATMs. Yeah, so sometimes you're in the ATM in, in the line and you feel somebody like, like right behind you. Okay. Uh, what about you, Gerardo? What is a habit you don't like? Um, I do not like when people uh, keep, keep going and defend a lie. For example, I know he, he, somebody makes a, a mistake and, and, and the person still trying to defend his mistake with lying and saying some, something bent. I know that he is lying, so I do yeah. not like when he keeps lying. I, okay. I, I, I love when people are sincere and, and tells me, all right, I make the mistake, I will try to to make it better. It's true, yes. So you don't like when people don't admit it? Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. And maybe it's, it's because I work with many people and and, and many people that, that work in, in campo? How do you say? In the field. In the field, uh-huh. So people that work in the field had many manas, so many bad habits. <laughs> uh -huh, they had that bad habit, and I'm working with them a lot of years. So that's something I do not like. It's true. Okay, definitely. I understand you there. Claudia, what is a habit you don't like? Mm, when I when I go on the bus and people usually to be mm, a little bit come delicate. Something like that when you are, when the bus is crowded. And I think um, if they don't want to 
feel like that, pay taxi. So what do you mean? Like it's crowded and people yes. don't want you, you know, mm -hmm. don't touch me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I agree with Claudia. <laughs> that happens in Salvador a lot when I was yeah. working there. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. Oh man, I can't remember the last time I took a bus, but I do remember that. I I do remember that. Okay, Lisette, what is a habit you don't like? I don't like that that the people are impunctual. Oh. I don't like wait a lot of time. You know me too. I don't like when people are unpunctual, but like that's a mix between Gerardo and you because when they lie, like if I'm going to meet somebody at eight, I will be there at eight. But if I am will not be there at eight, I will call that person. Hi, look, um, I am stuck in traffic. I am sorry, I will be late. Is it okay? Can you wait for me 20 minutes? But I will call that person at 7.50. But no, it's 8, 8, 10. You call the person. Oh, hi. Yes, there's a lot of traffic. I can't stay at Oh, I hate that. <laughs> so I tell him, so where are you? Oh, I am here by Metro. So you're by Metro at 8.10. And you're supposed to be in Santa Elena at eight. Yeah, but there's traffic. What do you want me to do? Call me. Just simply call me. Hey, ni siquiera llegado a metro, and I am stuck in traffic. I don't think I will be there, but don't call me at eight ten with that lie. I don't like mm -hmm. it. <laughs> okay, cool. What about you, Angela? What is one thing that you don't like on people? Um, in my case, I don't like when you say hello. They don't know answer, for example. Oh, yeah. Yes. So uh, when you greet, when you greet, like you go into a place, good morning, and, and nobody answers. Yes, yes, I don't know answer. Or um, I write messages already in first. And people just repay, okay. I'm sorry, what? Only. I write basic wedding first, and people just uh, replay, okay. Oh, hey, but yeah. I am like that. I am like that. <laughs> on, the, on like WhatsApp? Uh huh, yes. Yeah. Some people like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like my wife gets angry because when she sends me something, I look at it and I go, ha. Huh. Or I I do this. And she tell, and she and she gets angry and I said, I'm sorry, I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or sometimes I send a funny picture to my friend, but I don't expect him to give me the the story, like, haha, que chistoso, me dio risa cuando vi eso. Like, imagine I see a funny video and I send it to my friend on WhatsApp. And my yeah. friend responds to me, haha, it was funny. I like the part when he, oh, God, no quería eso. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> all right. What about you, Bert? Well, I have a whole bunch of things that I hate that people uh, or do, but I want to be a little close to what Claudia said that related to the bus. When I remember when I traveled in San Salvador from in the 30B route, <laughs> it was really annoying because all the, the all the people got together in the front of the bus and they had space in the back of the bus and you have to walk and move over to the back of the bus, but the, all the people gather in the front of the bus. It was impossible. When you wanna go dig down, get off the bus, it was really hard to get off because you have to push a lot of people. That's really annoying. I mean, that's happened every morning in San Salvador. 
It's really, really annoying. And I think it, hap it still happens. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But so we don't repeat the same the same habit. What is another bad habit that you don't like on people? Mm, well, people that pray in Facebook, they pray God in Facebook. They put all prayers in Facebook. They believe that God will reply <laughs> the post <laughs> in Facebook. Oh, yes. Or when they send those chains and cadenas, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, so that's right. Yeah, I, I hate it. I mean, I don't like it. I mean, I respect people belief, but I think they have to respect other people belief. Do you have problems? They don't believe either. Do you do you have problems with your family or because you don't believe in God? Yeah, I have a lot of problems because I because I express my ideas. Really, I mean, I can open, I can say it because in a different people, I don't speak like that. I mean, but with my family, I saw so honest and I speak frankly, and I say I don't believe it. That that's a bullshit. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me, yeah, me too. No, but now they don't get mad. Now they just don't include me, <laughs> which is good. But you know, but at the beginning, I remember at the beginning they saw me like pobre alma perdida, you know. <laughs> But then, you know, but it came so many times that I say, okay, sit down, let's talk. Let's talk. You know, I say, let's talk facts. It was not fiction. You know, and, and, then, yeah. and, and when you start doing that, they never, they never. So it's, I, you know, like Samana Santa just passed and uh, all my, well, my family is my wife's family. So they all, you know, hey, vamos a ver la they don't include me because they know I won't go. So, oh, okay, let's relax. I stay home alone. <laughs> all right, Ronald, what about you? Yeah, this is. This, this... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, finish. Bert. Okay, Ronald? You know, I don't like, uh, it is related to the ATMs and to the bus. When you take the, the public transportation, I don't like when you are about to get off and people just stay in the exit door, just just there and they are not going to get off, but they are the storban. They, they are just there and they don't allow you to get off. I don't like that and I don't like when you are in the queue, in the ATM queue, and people take so long to withdraw money. I mean, I just I just need 30 seconds to withdraw money and they are like over 15 minutes and yes. sometimes you're in the hurry. Yes. And I don't like when, when, for example, at home, when I want to cook, when there's people cooking. Oh, the me same. too, they, I hate they, that. They, 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 they bothers me. Okay. They oh, Storbares, they get in my way. Ah, okay. So they get in my way. Uh, the three examples were the same. People getting in my way. <laughs> yes. No, but I definitely understand. You know, one thing I really, I really hate on people, but these are selective people. Mm, Ronald, you will understand me. Claudia will understand me. And Bert will understand me. I don't like homies in call centers it's okay nah, the, but, the ones that speak like they're black rappers but they are funny i don't like them <laughs> yeah i mean yeah they are funny and you talk to them but it i don't know I, I I don't like them, <laughs> but like I said, that's me. That, that's me. You know, I don't like when they say nigger. It's like, what? You, 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 you know, nigger. Did you say nigger? Yeah, that that's how they speak. They call each other niggers. Yes or no, Ronald or, Cla or Claudia? Yes. Mm. And sometimes. Uh huh. I just had one peer who was like that, but I always made fun of him and 
So he just took the joke friendly, but I think it was better because they weren't another one like him. So he was like the only the only one, and nobody paid him attention. Yeah, that's true. That that's good because if you don't pay attention to them, they'll start disappearing. <laughs> but you know, yeah, but they are funny. They are nice people. I, I just don't like when people pretend to be black, and they're not. Oh, black. you know what I hate too? When there's talkative people in the gym, they don't work out. They are they are just there to to speak. They can speak anywhere, <laughs> not in the gym. Yeah, they just go to speak, to talk, to talk, not to speak. They can talk, and perhaps you're you're waiting your turn to use the the machine, and they are just talking to each other, and they don't work out. So, one day I stayed like thirty minutes for a machine, and then I I I left that place. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. And one thing I really, oh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things we hate. Okay, now let's practice the listening part. Gerardo, what does Lisette hate or what habit doesn't she like on people? Do you remember? Um, Lisette uh, don't like when people is on control. Lisette doesn't like. Doesn't like. Third person. She doesn't like. All right, good. good. Okay. Jonathan. What habit doesn't Angela like? I think she doesn't like when people like? No. No. Good morning. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she doesn't like when, when she, what do you say? Great? Great. Great. And doesn't answer. Okay, so listen to this, Jonathan. She doesn't like when she greets and people don't reply. And people don't reply. Okay. No, say it complete. Say what I said, complete. She doesn't like. She. She. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like. When. When. She greets. She greets. And nobody play. replies. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Angela, what doesn't Gerardo like? Oh, oh. Gerardo, no, I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Um, Remember gente en el campo, malas mañas, remember. Pero yo lo vi, pero no. Yes, no. Eh, the like the lie. Yes, he doesn't like people lying. Yeah. Look, this is this is why I'm telling you that I like art. Look, you see, that's my. I have antiques. I have that plate right there. It's Shakespeare. Todos los personajes de Shakespeare. You can't see it. I have the Sahara Desert. Do you see that that calavera? That skull. It's cool. It's a telephone. <laughs> and here. I have my angels. Do you see my angels? Yes. Those, that's why I want to go to the Sistine Chapel, Por ver esos Angeles. <laughs> yeah. Entonces, mi casa está llena de, de arte, pero, ¿cómo es? Falsa. 
tengo money. You know money? Tengo Da Vinci. I have Van Gogh. Todo falso. But someday. Si fuera real, le digo a mi esposa. Wow. <laughs> hey, that's your son, Gerardo. This is the, the young one, Fernan. All right, he looks like you. <coughs> Hola. Hola. All right, cool. I was looking. I was looking yesterday at my at my son's pictures when he was a baby. And wow, I said falta, you know, like oh, I remember el olor y todo. <laughs> okay, and Bert, what does Ronald? What doesn't Ronald like? What does he hate? Well, it's kind of similar to what I say. And Claudio also say he, he hates when people gather together in the back of the bus and you, he can't just get off because there's a bunch of people just not going to get off, but you just there, sitting there or standing there and he just wants to get off and it's impossible for him to get off the bus. Yeah, so pretty much he hates when people get on his way, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And Claudia. Do you remember what Jonathan hates? Listen. En español, cuando uno dice yo odio, la palabra es bien fuerte. Pero en inglés, cuando uno dice I hate, no es tan fuerte. No, I hate es como si no me gusta. Mm -hmm. Como hay gente, I, oh, I hate onion. Odio la, la cebolla. You know, so, no, no es que estoy fomentando la palabra hate, you know, porque, y es lo contrario también, I love, like I love coffee. Lo único que en español decimos, me encanta el café, no, nadie, es bien raro que diga yo amo el café. <clears throat> so, you know, I love hate, I love hate. So, uh, Claudia, do you remember what Jonathan hates? No, I don't remember. Who remembers what Jonathan hates? When people don't respect the distance. When people don't respect the distance. Yeah. And in conclusion, I, I don't think I like when people are fanatics. Yeah, we all hate people. Yeah. Do you watch The Walking Dead? Just the first season. Me too. I, I stopped in season six. Creo que ahí es season mala. But one interesting about, about Walking Dead is that the Walking Dead is a, a, a zombie apocalypse, right? But really, really, the, the story of the Walking Dead is that no importa the zombie apocalypse, the, the dangerous people will always be the humans. So that is a message. Even if there is a zombie apocalypse, but really the dangerous people are always humans. Porque con I, stopped, I stopped watching that TV show when the plot was related to a missing girl and she was a zombie in the in a farm. I guess it was the third season. Oh, last, 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 last kid, she was a girl. Yeah. Was it in the second or the third season? Do you remember? It was second, I think. Okay. The that Finder? Was the one. Yeah, they did, but she was yeah. a zombie already. Yeah. It's sad. Yes. Uh, then then don't, don't watch the rest because it gets worse. The stories get worse. Había uno que this man, he had his wife and his daughter in a room, con encadenadas, you know. Like, they were zombies, but it was his wife and his daughter. He did not have the heart to kill them. I don't know, man. It's very sad. It's, it's, that's why, I mean, 
really it's a it's a very good show but then after season six or seven it got very i don't know boring but i like this and show. have you watched the last of us i promise you i haven't i don't know why but i have to watch it <laughs> it's okay. good it's good yeah okay class listen uh Recuerden lo que siempre les digo, de verdad, empezaron a leer cuentos. Lean cuentos. Sí, yeah. Sí. Lean cuentos. I complaints. Complaints. Hay, hay un, hay un escritor muy famoso, creo que lo han oído, se llama Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, de hecho hicieron una película, The Cat in the Hat. Bueno, Dr. Seuss es como una versión de Cri Cri en español. Dr. Seuss hacía libros para niños. Pero lo que él hacía, que las palabras, jugaba con las palabras para desarrollar él habla de los niños. Y él nunca lo hizo con intención de psicológica. Pero era tan, tan bueno que hasta las universidades empezaron a estudiar las teorías de él. Por ejemplo, hay, hay un libro que se llama Green, Green Eggs and Ham. Imagínense, jamón con huevos verdes. Y... Y la razón por la que es interesante la, la literatura de él es porque él dice, por ejemplo, no me acuerdo cómo. <coughs> Sam, I am. And I want green eggs and ham. Sí, me entiendo. O sea, juega con las palabras. Bien, bien, chivo. Si un día pueden leer libros, y yo, como son libros para niños, obviamente son bien, bien cortos. Quizás dos o tres oraciones en cada página. They mentioned it on a Disney movie. What? Yeah, Disney. Yes, Jonathan? Hay una película, creo que están leyendo ese cuento que se llama La Guardería de Papá. The Disney movie, yes. Oh, yeah. También, bueno, The Grinch. Creo que The Grinch es de él. The Grinch. Yeah, o sea, es, es, es cultura, cultura americana. Es la, todos los libros de él. Pero Yo me acuerdo eso. de esa, La Guardería de Papá. Ahí se están comiendo unos huevos verdes con jamón y, oh, really? y los huevos mm -hmm. repiten, sí. Sí, de eso me acordé yo también. Oh, ok, yeah, that's why. Uh -huh. Es lo que yo digo, allá, allá ponen a niños, con eso empiezan a leer ellos, con, con Dr. Seuss. Yo he ido, yo, a, a mí como, a, yo soy adicto a ir a esas tiendas de segunda, donde ven la ropa usada. Pero no tanto por la ropa, a mí me gusta la... la la, las cosas que como libros o cosas antiguas I love that ahí he encontrado tantos libros de Dr. Seuss like oh. a una cora 50 cents like oh my god y ahí wow. los tengo yeah. y le digo a mi esposa ¿sabe? o sea si estos se vendieran en Estados Unidos porque unos son ya clásicos pero yeah. ahí ahí Busquen así, ya. ahí pueden encontrar muchos cuentos para niños que como la gente no los compra porque están en inglés. It's true. It's true, yeah. I yeah. would recommend you. Si van a esas tiendas, yeah, yeah, do that. <laughs> okay, then thank you, class. Have a very, very good weekend. Si necesitan algo, si algún día tienen una pregunta, no, no sé, a veces como, hey, Teacher en el trabajo me dijeron esto. Escríbame en mi WhatsApp. No, puede que no les conteste inmediatamente, pero con gusto yo les respondo. Yeah, con... Hey, teacher, thank you. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. For all your knowledge. Thank you. So we, see, we, we have class on Monday. I don't know if the next class starts on Monday. They, Really, they send they send you different information than they send me because I think that's the coordination. But they they maybe they will send you information tomorrow. They take okay. over a month to to say that. 
that happened last night. Yes, it's true. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.